Sam Nyamwe's election as the chair of Kenyan football was greeted by mixed reaction across the sporting divide within and beyond Kenya's borders. The veteran administrator had served under previous capacities in former regimes that had been accused of immensely contributing to the current state of football in Kenya. However, this was a different ball situation for the administrator come politician. During this election, the well-connected businessman who's rumored to have the backing of influential persons was offered a chance to lead the new football organization. Other notable names voted into office during this exercise included Nairobi-based lawyer Robert Assembo and former footballers Sami Sholei and Dan Shikanda. Nyamoya's long-term ally and private secretary Ludovic Aduda was appointed the chief executive officer in an acting capacity. The new team immediately registered a new institution under the name Football Kenya Federation, replacing the outgoing entity Football Kenya Limited. Details of Nyamwea's childhood days and educational background remain scanty. However, besides football, he shot to fame after being adversely mentioned as having been part of the infamous Youth for Kanu 92, a group which also consisted current members of Parliament Cyrus Jirongo and William Ruto that spearheaded the re-election of retired President Moi during the first multi-party polls in Kenya. Opinion was and remains divided as to if Nyamwea is the right person or the best available to lead the renaissance of the country's most popular sport. Amongst the first decisions made by the Nyamoya regime after assuming office was the appointment of respected tactician Francis Kimanzi as the national soccer team coach to replace Zedekiah Ziko Tieno, who had assumed the position in an acting capacity throughout the 2012 African Nations Cup qualifiers. The former Madhari United and Sofa Parker coach's second stint was only to last eight months. Kimanzi was shown the door after public outcry following a string of poor results at the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup and the 2013 African Nations Cup qualifiers, a competition in which Kenya was eliminated at the preliminary rounds by Togo. Meanwhile, the federation received plaudits for initiating the stalled women and youth football teams. For the first time in almost a decade, the men and ladies under 20 national sides were entered to compete in various continental assignments where both teams fared impressively. However, with a few months in office, cracks began to appear and the mistakes of the past slowly crept back. They have let us down. They moved out of the goal project where FIFA spent a lot of money. We left them a lot of money, over 197,000 US dollars. Hand over. I really feel bad to, to talk negatively about my federation because if, if you comp com compare what, what the other federation had done and with a lot of wrangles and wars that used to be there, I think they did uh, better than we, we are doing right now. Uh, as an outgoing <laughs> minister, I have to tell you that uh, what is now gone is gone, but definitely we have not achieved. Uh, what we envisaged because you must remember that uh, we want our team to do well and uh, we can only say we have achieved by seeing results. Join us in part two of this feature as we discuss the wrangles that are threatening to hinder the development of the game. Is there a hope? This ego just landed. This ego has not even got its footing yet. Harambe stars prepare for yet another round of qualifiers. Will it be the same story or will the local charges finally break the jinx?